Hey guys, Crystal coming on. I'm coming on with a project share. So, uh, last week I was watching the final week of the collaboration hosted by Betty, who is Scrap Passion 01 here, um, the past Halloween collab that I took part in. Anyway, one of the ladies um, did a project where she bought one of these pencil cases um, from the Dollar Tree. And... I just love the design of this little box. I just thought it was so cute. And she decorated it for past Halloween. And I thought, well, by the way, that was my crafty boutique who put up that video. And I will link that video in the description box below. Okay, so you can check that out. So as I was watching her um, show her project, I was looking at that box and I was like, that is so cool. I love it. I love the design of it. And I wanted to see if I could create this box myself using my decorative paper and whatnot so i went to the dollar tree and picked up a couple of these boxes and it's got a snap closure and it pulls out like this and then i just thought that was a cute way to send embellishments to somebody or you know a, a gift of some kind if you were sending out happy mail or whatever and i tried in vain to put a snap on mine but it wouldn't allow me to do so because let me show you my snap pliers when you go to set it see how this you've got this much area here it only comes that far so it would be putting my snap like way up here and that would look retarded so I didn't do that I wanted the snap look but I ended up having to use velcro but I was able to uh, make this box I made it two different ways so let me show you what I did. Okay, this was my prototype. And it's cute, don't get me wrong. It, I like it, but it's very flimsy because I just used paper. And then I ended up, I tried putting the snap on it, but it wouldn't reach, like I said, it would not reach. So I just put the end on here and then put Velcro on the back, which I didn't like that at all. Didn't like the way that looked. And then I created the box inside. Now, I mean, this is cute. It's just not very sturdy. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can make the cover itself, this wraparound part, in chipboard. So I did. So I like this one much better. Let me show you what I did. So this is the one that I made with chipboard. I made the wraparound part, the case itself, using chipboard. Um, I wrapped it. The only thing about the using the chipboard is it, it just has this little overlay on the side, which you have the overlay here, but you can't see it because it's so thin. But anyway, that don't bother me any. And like I said, I wasn't able to actually use my snap because this I, number one, I don't think you can use a snap on chipboard. But number two, it won't go down far enough to put it to place it where I needed it. So what I ended up doing to have that snap look was sorry i know i'm shaking it see this little end here i just took my little snips here and i snipped off this little prong and then i just hot glued that down so i got the look it doesn't actually snap but that's okay it's velcro but anyway so like i said that's velcro closure and then this is just a wonderful way to send some embellishments to your buddy i love it i just love this box i love unique boxes and when i saw her video i knew i wanted to run out to dollar tree and pick up one of these boxes just to see if i could make one, make one myself and i don't know i'm very pleased with it i think it's very cute i'm tickled with it and while i would use this one for myself i'm not going to send that to anybody because it's just too flimsy i mean you can just make it with paper and then you don't have that really thick profile on the side like you do when you build it up with chipboard like this but i like the sturdiness of this much better so anyway i just thought i would share and uh go snatch you up a couple of these boxes give it a try it's really cool i love this box and i love the design of it i love how i just love the way it looks i just think it's a neat neat way to give some gifts and i'm very proud of myself so let me let know what you think in the comment section below and i've got to get back to work today so 
no crafting for me. But anyway, let me know what you think. We'll talk later. Bye.